We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where there is pretty much access to anything that you want that is destructive. It is much easier to find things that are destructive for your health, both of mind and body, than it is to find things that are salubrious. So you have to realize that we live in a crazy control grid world where the system wants to feed us garbage that is not beneficial to us, that if we engage in and consume these things mentally, physically, you name it, in our bodies and our minds, it accelerates the degradation of our body and it accelerates the aging process and it actually leads to a state of entropy. So my message, ladies and gentlemen, my hair's sticking up, it's all frizzy, um, is to engage in and learn to enjoy things that benefit you. Engage in and learn to enjoy things that help reverse the aging process, that help slow down the decay of your physical body, the decay of your mind. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, just tuning into the television for 10 minutes, I did it the other day because I'm back in California visiting family and I turned on the television just to witness the insanity and a 10 minute strip of commercials and television programs was enough to make me feel incredibly ungrounded with all the noise and the lights and all the bullshit. So this is just one me one way that people just completely turn off their free thinking and accept garbage into their minds that is destructive. All the fear that comes from all the medication commercials and all the deceptive marketing, and it's just insane. That's just one thing. TV not only fills you full of garbage, but it takes you away from being able to hear your own thoughts. Because in order for you to pay attention to what's on that fucking TV screen, you've got to listen, you've got to watch, you've got to fixate your attention to that box that's spewing out garbage and artificial blue light that's damaging your melatonin production. This is just one facet. Turning on the radio, watching TV, constantly having to do this, constantly having to have noise on. People are addicted to noise. They are afraid of silence. Silence is how we enter peace, and without peace you don't have power, because until you can find a baseline where you're comfortable, ladies and gentlemen, where you're at peace, you'll never be able to have real power. You'll never be able to have real power because you'll never be able to calm your body down. You'll never be able to calm your mind down. And until you calm your mind down and your body, which are running on overdrive right now when most people aren't even aware of this because they've never tried to enter a state of thoughtlessness and complete bodily relaxation and motionlessness, until you calm these states of your mind down, you will be running on overdrive. And you live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, that wants to keep you on overdrive. And we have environmental stress. We have emotional stress. We have... Um, Physical stress, environmental stress, ladies and gentlemen, is all the acid rain. It's all the acids that we're exposed to. It's all the heavy metals. Emotional stress from marital issues and family problems, financial issues. All of this stuff accelerates our decay and keeps us from being able to have power because we don't have peace. I hope that makes sense. Peace is being able to be in an environment where the, the environment actually helps you get healthy. The environment that we live in here in the Matrix does not help you get healthy. And that's why you've got to equip your house with a water filter, a shower filter, and an air filter at bare minimum. Stockpile health foods in your home. Turn your house into a regeneration chamber. Ground your bed to the earth. Expose you just you can turn your house into a health regeneration pod, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just put it that way. That's a really simplified um not even you get into that. I'll show you guys my house in Virginia and how my wife and I have completely terraformed the house to do nothing but bring us better health. Most Americans aren't doing that. So until you find inner peace, until you calm your mind down, until you calm your thoughts down, until you're able to sit for five minutes without moving, without getting agitated, you're really never going to have peace. And that's why I promote these things like the motionlessness re uh, re exercises. I just posted about a 20 minute video here on Patreon about the importance of that and entering thoughtlessness. Your body is constantly on overdrive because of all the information it's taken in from a young age, your body and your mind. You're constantly processing things. You're constantly looking at what needs to get done. You're constantly fretting. You're constantly on overdrive. It's like a system running on, uh, on, on with the, it's like a system, um, overheating for the duration of its life. And then you expect to live a long time. You've got to calm your mind down so that you can slow down what Morley Robbins calls your magnesium burn rate. When you're stressed from environmental stress, the pollution, the bad water, when you're stressed from emotional stress, marital issues, financial problems, worry, job-related stuff, you accelerate the production of a, uh, or you accelerate the burning of your magnesium. You burn magnesium. Magnesium is pretty much the first mineral to go when you're stressed from the environment, the pollution, stress from, you know, emotional problems, you name it. It's, uh, just got a uh, message from my mom, excuse me. 
You burn up B vitamins and magnesium especially. That's why I recommend get on magnesium. Do magnesium foot baths. I don't just talk about magnesium because I think it's a cool mineral. It's a master mineral. It regulates the majority of your body's enzymes. There are over 1,500 functions that magnesium regulates, ladies and gentlemen. It is the key to health. It's one of them. Magnesium and B vitamins are crucial. Mastering diet. Get yourself some... Get, get on a healthy diet, ladies and gentlemen. Start eating healthier. You don't have to be an unhealthy human in this world just because your family is, just because your friends are, just because the system wants to push that as the easy way out. You don't have to. You can rebel. The adversarial energy is something that's heavily neglected here in this matrix. You have to become selfish in a divine way to not give in to the fucked up ways of the system. You've got to take your power back. You've got to say no, even if that makes other people uncomfortable. You don't have to be a useful idiot for the system just because that's the easy way out. You can adopt the adversarial energy, ladies and gentlemen. Pushing up against the beast. Pushing up against the system. And saying no to the idea that we, we die before we're 100. That to me is ridiculous. Saying no to all these cultural narratives. Saying no to all of these unquestioned belief systems. Why do we have to die by the time we're 100? Because you were told that? Because that's what is around us, and that is that's because we is it because we perceive that as being factual because other people die around us before we're 100. Do you ever take into consideration the idea that you believing that we can only live to 100 accelerates the mechanisms of your cells, the entropy, the destruction of your body? Because beliefs regulate the subconscious mind, and the subconscious mind is impartial to good and bad information. So you, if you believe in something with every fiber of your being, it actuate, actuates that or actualizes that and creates it. Do you ever think that maybe your belief systems are outdated and that they're leading to the problems in your life and that you have more say in the outcome of what happens in your physical world, in your life, in your mind than is being you're being led to believe? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, we are responsible to a large extent for our bad health, for our problems, for our emotional issues, you name it. And many people don't want to take that into consideration or even let that come into their mind because most people want to be victims. You don't have to be a victim. You can, ladies and gentlemen, take your power back. The Surgeon General will tell you that 70% of the, the issues that we have as health problems, uh, di or, you know, diseases, you name it, is directly relinked or linked to the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air that we breathe. 70% of the pie chart of your health is in your own hands. And in my opinion, it's more than that. The worst thing that you have against you right now is your environment. You have the ability, however, to live within an unhealthy environment and regulate what you consume, what you think, what you feel, what you put into your system. Again, how you, the air you breathe, you can outfit your house with an air filter. It's time to invest. It's time to spend some money so that you can have a healthier, happier life, ladies and gentlemen, because the environment and environmental unhealthy stress from poisons and toxins and mold and whatnot is a huge factor in your health. Because again, the Surgeon General even will tell you that 70% pretty much of your health or more is in your own hands. The rest of that pie chart, the remaining 30%, some of it's genetic, but a large, a large handful of what's destroying your health is, um, ladies and gentlemen, the your environment, what you're exposed to, the aerosols in the, in the sky, which are a very real thing. Geoengineering, stratospheric aerosol injections, high altitude aerosol spraying. This is in popular magazines now, science magazines all across the news. It's, it's, it's been, it's not a conspiracy theory. Aerosols are real. They have sprayed megatons of aluminum, barium, strontium, mylar, mylar fibers, chaff, scalar waves, smart dust into the atmosphere. They, are, they have made the atmosphere, the air that we breathe, a, a cocktail of metal. You get aluminum in your brain, you start getting forgetful, you start chewing up your magnesium, suddenly you, you're walking, we're all walking around this matrix half dead. We are unconscious, and that is an understatement. We have no more light, we have no more kundalini activation, ladies and gentlemen. Our mitochondria is choking, the cytoplasm, the mechanisms, the organelles of our cells. Organelles means little organ. You're in the most subatomic particles of what makes you you, that you have an entire vast ecosystem of life keeping you alive, and we are losing the life in these basic support systems because of the environment that we live in. We have got to take our power back. We have got to realize that we can terraform our life. We have got to become more unique, interesting humans and say no to the bullshit because the system wants to give you a life that is predetermined. It wants you to live a predetermined, structured, 
specific life where your consciousness and your ability to understand the entire range of the electromagnetic spectrum is in a tiny little range, ladies and gentlemen. Kundalini, the awakening of the mind, activating the mind, learning to relax, learning to calm yourself down will open your shutters and you'll be able to see past the matrix to a much greater efficiency. You'll be able to stimulate your psychic centers and put your metaphysical antennas back up into their upright position. And in doing so, you'll be able to feel again. We are all numb. This is insane what's going on out here, ladies and gentlemen. We are like cattle being led to slaughter. We are designed to be immortal. We are designed to be able to carry with us our consciousness, our awareness into wherever we go after this physical existence without us forgetting what's going on. But the system wants you to merge your consciousness with some type of I'm not even going to get into the whole white light theory and whatnot and merging your consciousness with what quote unquote God after you die. Ladies and gentlemen, we are supposed to direct where our soul moves, but we are so lost and so dumbfounded and so spiritually just we've, we've been slammed down into this dimension with spiritual amnesia. We don't know who we are, what our purpose is and why we're doing here. We've forgotten our true essence. We are going to, most people, in my opinion, have their souls recycled upon death. We have to hone the will. We have to hone the mind. We have to hone the senses. We have to learn how to enter non-ordinary states of consciousness so that, I'm not even going to get into that. I shouldn't have even brought that up, ladies and gentlemen. All I'm trying to convey here is the system is fucking insane out here. It's insane. And after experiencing handfuls of Kundalini experiences and having these incredibly paranormal experiences, I've had a very paranormal life. I know for a fact that there's more to the picture than meets the eye. Much more. I refuse to live this predetermined lifestyle that the Matrix wants us to live. It is so stupid. It is so boring. It is so non-magical. It is so just apathetic to really what's going on here in the world. We need to learn to take our power back so that we can have a greater impact on the entire spectrum of humanity, ladies and gentlemen. We exist in a broad array. Excuse me, let me roll the window down. We exist in a world where we only currently, due to our awareness and our shuttering of our consciousness, experience a small fraction of the true spectrum, the electromagnetic range. Kundalini allows us to tap into more of that and to actually see the truth. We're living a false lie. We're living, we're, li we're living false lives. We're living a non-authentic life that has been predetermined by the system, by the Archon. Learn how to breathe. Read Overcoming the Archon by John, or oh, read Overcoming the Archon through Alchemy by John Kreider and begin using the three alchemical uh, breathing polarities or the alchemical triad, if you will, the in polarity, the void polarity, and the out polarity. By mastering those three techniques, you will experience a vast upgrade in your consciousness, a vast upgrade in your physical vigor, your health, your well-being. And you will, over time, if you integrate those techniques, those alchemical techniques with proper diet, grounding, electromagnetic shielding, you name it, uh, lucid dream work, candle magic, the whole spectrum, you will become a much different version of yourself. And you will be able to have much more of your perception opened to the truth. And in doing so, you will be able to have a much more unique life and have a greater impact on the collective whole. I'm going to wrap this one up. I wish I could go further, but my battery's about to die. I love you all. Peace be with you. I wanted to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you. And your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported. And if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause, help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your continued interest in my message and until next time, peace be with you all.